Hello, it's Sneaky Pickleton here from YouTube, and I'm, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on ZipApp. Now, in case you don't know what ZipApp is, it's just a nice little um, app developing tool for Windows 8, and I'm going to show you how to use it. First, we're just going to go there, so zip, zip app. So that's the address, it will be in the description, but I already had it loaded because I do um, go here quite a lot. And as you can see, I'm already logged on, so you can just, or you can um, log in or register. Uh, these are my three apps that I've created, but I've been having some problems deleting this one, which was from an earlier test of this video. Um, <clears throat> so I just had to keep it there. So what you're going to do is click that. And basically just type the name of your application that you want to create, then the description. then you can just create this the same Oops, create this the same we we'll just keep this the same if you want but I'm just going to oh what is that that's really weird I'm just going to keep this as zip app but you can change the icon so hmm. my favourite ones are glow but I'm just going to have A star click create <coughs> then you just click edit on the name of the one that you want to edit it doesn't look like you can edit much but if you click groups create new group or you can go to all groups and it will show you all the groups that you've created and now you can just type um, what you want there and a description and then down here you have some of this if you keep it as static content then it will just be like a text but if you have, if you go to Twitter then you can do then you can do your Twitter name or a hashtag which I don't really understand but so I'm just doing my Twitter name and it may well, and it will come up with all my tweets so if I click create then it's there and you can edit it or delete it and yeah you can just do that so if you go to all groups then you notice I didn't really show you what this does I'll get to that in a second um, So I'm just going to do that, you, and then click the YouTube one, and you'll notice that it says show playlists, and so you can only do playlists, not just single videos, and so you, that's a bit of a that's a bit annoying but you can just click add and then create and now that we have two if I wanted Twitter first I could just drag that up now I've been having a bit of problems with um, static content but I'll try this now Now if I just click 
create and then it comes up at the top so I can just put it there so then I have my Twitter about Killzone 3 Interestings and then YouTube which is Killzone 3 Interestings and if you also, another nice thing click the little icon things there it says you add groups to your app and stuff like that, it just explains it so yeah, and download so if you click download then you can save as desktop save um, so just exit that so there is mine so what you're going to want to do is extract extract and then it will create this, it won't work unless you extract it so then you just click on that one and you have to have Visual Studio I think to use it, but there is a free version so it doesn't really matter and let's just wait for this to load, but then you can click that and it should start up your app yep so there's the logo while it's waiting and then you have this but I said I had been having a bit of problems with this so the um, little article thing it hasn't shown up and I'm not quite sure why that's um, really really weird but uh, there have been some other problems with this but overall it's quite nice the way you can use it and then here and there you have all of the code so let's just exit that and I will well create another one look like a really good one so let's just go here your applications edit <coughs> sorry I've got a bit of a cough and then I can do create new group So we're just creating this. I think I'll have YouTube first this time. And there's something else that I'd like to try, which is create new article. But it doesn't really look like it's going to work. So, hmm. Uh, 
so let's actually just click that. Hmm. Create new group. So let's just leave that blank. Create <coughs> articles. Oh, it looks like this is working now then. So. You can add pictures. <coughs> I'm just gonna add this. <coughs> I'll have a bit of a cough. player <coughs> so now if I click download oops uh, cancel groups all groups we just need to move that down to after there. I, I'm sure there are much more things that you could make uh, if you are a programmer, which I slightly am, but I don't really, I don't do, I don't really do that kind of thing. So, oh no, oh actually, yeah. That's going there. So if I drag that out and just extract it, then double click on that one as we did earlier. I just wait for it to load a bit. and run and there's our world symbol oh yeah so if I was to click that yeah it would have all my articles that I wrote for that thing so I suppose you could hi kind of have a blog kind of thing there. So here's my thing and here's just some of my Twitter. So I think that this is a really nice um, little app maker. And I really hope that you like it. And um, I think that's about it for now. So bye and all of the links will be in the description. and. I might put my app that I created, like, 
a really good one that I will create. I will put that one up in the description for download too. So I hope you like and um, goodbye.